So, haven't been able to really make a video since the motorcycle was stolen. Been incredibly just slammed with life. So much has happened. So much is still happening. Um, you know, we had one news... Well, I'm not going to call them a news agency because it's not really... They're, they're not really a news agency. Um, they're a smut magazine or basically the equivalent of the National Enquirer for our hometown that picked up the story, posted all of my public information, the victim, barely said anything at all about the guys that stole the bike, and it was politically motivated because, you know, if you guys don't know, um, for the last few years I have worked in politics, uh, both on the national, state, and local level. And I am helping with a campaign of a local candidate here, David Webb, for Ward 12. And so it was, it was a chance for them to take a hit at me because someone that works for their news publication, uh, news publication, um, just so happens to be running against my candidate. And not only that, I'm also on the Joe Padula Show. So if you haven't checked that out, check it out. Joe Padula Show, he has a Facebook page, Instagram. He's on um, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Facebook. Shout out him on Facebook because, you know, he speaks the truth whether people like it or not. And generally people don't like that, especially in today's climate. But um, anyway, it's neither here nor there. So the bike was stolen. We recovered the bike. Um, if you look at the previous video, there is a video of me riding the bike home after it was stolen. And... Uh, Yesterday, we took it and we dropped the bike off at Moonshine Harley-Davidson in Nashville. Their master mechanic. Today, the insurance looked it over. Um, Tuesday, the master mechanic is going to look it over. The insurance, the master mechanic from Harley-Davidson will compare notes, essentially. And they're going to decide what they're going to fix. But the insurance company told us anything that was damaged from the theft um, will be covered. And... It was dark when I first got to the bike, and I really didn't get under it to look at it, but it, it looked like it had been, it, it definitely was laid down, laid down on the left side. Um, the saddlebag was all scraped up. The brand new um, zombie baffle pipes we put on it were scratched up. The primary cover was scratched. Um, the crash bar had some scratches on it. Um, but we did get the bike back, and the insurance company is going to cover everything. So in the meantime, we are extremely blessed. We have the best family, guys. I cannot say this enough. We have the best family and friends through the American Legion, Post 233, in, in Hopkins, or in Oak Grove, Kentucky. It's the Fort Campbell American Legion. And the minute they knew that my husband's bike was going to be gone for a few weeks and that he wasn't going to be able to ride because my husband and I both are veterans. My husband and I both struggle with PTSD. Um, mine is related to sexual trauma. His is related to combat. And our motorcycles are our way of dealing with our stress, our, our, our demons in our head. When we get on our bikes, it is that moment of release. It's, it's the rest of the world and all the bullshit. And yes, that's a shit. All the bullshit just, it fades away. That's the moment that it's over for us. That's the moment that we get to relax, we get to breathe, and nothing else in the world matters. It doesn't matter what we've gone through. It doesn't matter what we've been through. It's just a moment to be in the moment, to be a part of nature, to be a part of the road, to feel the pavement beneath your feet. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see this, but the moon, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? So gorgeous. I hope you were able to see it. It's a phone camera, so it's not that great. Um, but, you know, you're in the moment, and you're free. You're absolutely free, and you're feeling the wind on your body, and you're smelling the smells that surround you, and it's the reason to ride. It's And believe it or not, it is better than therapy. Okay, I, I've been going to VA for years, and I've been in therapy and out of therapy, counseling, the whole nine, medications, you freaking name it, I've done it. And my motorcycle this year has been a lifesaver for me. It really has, you know. So I, I strongly encourage anyone who's dealing with any type of, of trauma or depression or anxiety to really get out there on your bikes and ride. Like seriously, it's it, it will help you so much. It really will. And I know that you're, I'm 
taking it from an angle down and I apologize for that. Normally I've got you up here and I got lights on, but I'm driving, I'm driving the cage because I took him as I was getting back to my family at the American Legion. The day they found out that my husband's bike was going to be in the shop and my husband wasn't going to be able to ride. Not one, but two of our American Legion family America. American Legion family members reached out to us. Eric is like, come get my bike. Take my bike. Ride my bike. Eric, who has three, said, you know what? Take my bike. Ride my bike. I have an extras. You're not going to be without a motorcycle. And guys, I can't tell you what that meant to us. So I took my husband today and I dropped him off and he picked up Erica's Road King. He's riding at home right now and he's not going to be without a bike. And even while we got her bike, he noticed while he was riding it, you know, he may need a brake change. We're going to take care of all that for her because that's what you do. That's what you do. You take care of your family. You take care of each other. And we are so blessed. We are so, so blessed. And I, I'm just, I'm excited for what the future holds. My husband started back to college. Um, his company filed bankruptcy. My husband was in upper management. He has been let go because of it. And he started back to college. Um, he's got two years to finish his bachelor's degree, maybe two and a half, three. It d depends on how fast he does it. Um, but we're, we're really excited, really excited for what the future holds. Plans on possibly opening up our own shop, doing some motorcycle work. And that's his passion. He loves it. We do it for everyone in our garage already, as is, especially our family members, our, our, our rider family. So just looking forward to it and I just I wanted to give an update the bike is in the shop it's being worked on we have a ride this weekend I have video that I need to get out that I haven't got out yet and I apologize for that it's just it's been so crazy hectic with everything that's gone on since the bike was stolen and it, I mean just insanely busy insanely busy as we're closing out really the major riding season I'm not going to stop riding I bought me a heated suit I spent $600 at Cycle Gear. I have, I even have heated insoles for my boots. You guys are going to be getting video from me all year long. I promise. It may not be consistent and all the time, but anytime there's a ride or something going on, you're going to get that video. And it's getting dark, and I know that. Um, I'm not going to turn on my interior lights, so I'm going to go ahead and jump off of here. But I did want to give you guys an update and say, you know, I hope you're all doing well. We are doing okay. Things are progressing at as fast of a pace as they can, and we will be back out riding this weekend. So thank you to our family at American Legion. Thank you to the police department. Thank you to the people who made it possible for us to at least get the motorcycle back. Thank you to Progressive, who is our insurance company, for being there for us and, and saying, hey, we're going to cover 100% of whatever it costs to recover your bike. Thank you to Detective Feinberg for being phenomenal and not giving up on finding the other person involved in the theft of our motorcycle. Clarksville PD has been amazing and we will be in touch with you guys and I will be getting some more actual riding video up soon. And yes, I did dye my hair so it's not blonde anymore. Um, this is not my natural color either. It's actually darker than this but I did want to darken it back up. Ball's coming and just the bleach in my hair was killing it so... Hope all you ladies and gents are doing well, and I will see you on the road. All right, bye.